What's up everybody? We're on Highway 80 and this is uh, Lexington Parkway. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in here. This is a completely undeveloped grid pattern for a city or a very large community. The only thing that there is out here is a Neverland Flight Park where people skydive and they land out here. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in or not, but it is a massive grid pattern that as far as I can tell on Google Maps, there's no homes out here yet. And if there are homes, they're not even on Google Maps. So it's a very remote place. I'm really excited to get in here and see what it's about. Now I'm familiar with Pioneer, which is to the left of us, which is a rural community Looks like there's just a lot of ATV trails. What's it say here? Stop all uh, lot clearing permits before. Lot clearing permits required before clearing property. Okay. Okay, so they're telling you if you buy a lot here. Yeah. You have to get a permit first. Yeah. That means that there's people buying lots here. On the left of us, it looks like some agriculture. I definitely need a map. You see all those ATV trails? Mm -hmm. This would be an awesome place to come drive the ATV. Now, I don't know if we're... Oh, here we go. We got a road that goes in. Now, I don't know if there's houses built here yet. What was the name on the outside? Banyan... Banyan Preserve. Preserve. Yeah. Now, I don't know if there's houses out here yet. Let's find out. I mean, this could just be a completely undeveloped grid pattern. And, uh, and if it is, are there lots for sale here? Because if there are lots for sale, they may be at a really good price. So this is so you guys understand where we are. We are. Um, if you're gonna Google this, it's you know, Neverland Fly Park is here. Definitely homeless camps. Mm -hmm. With all that much garbage there. Can you see if there's lots for sale? I'm just gonna freestyle through. I don't think there's any houses built in here yet. On Google Maps, it doesn't appear. There's a single house built and this is massive like this is literally an entire grid pattern for a city they have water look there's water there lots for sale right there okay so literally you can buy a lot out here how much are they and are you allowed to build i don't think they've built any houses here yet if they have it's recent Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. and they have I'll tell labelle you, addresses labelle right so the 15,000 and up. Well, we could easily see like a panther or a bear out here. Yeah. Or like deer. So just so this you guys. This is like the PK again. Yeah. Well, you could easily see a panther out here. Okay. So this is part of LaBelle. I guess a LaBelle dress. And there's absolutely nothing out here. Like there's no houses at all. There is. There might be a house back here. See if you can find They're a house. constructing houses out here. They're already building? New construction. Let's find them. So let's see if we can find them. Now, in the back, in they're the back. building. Cool. The thing why nobody wants to be the first person to build is because if you are the first person to build, you'll probably end up getting your house broken into because it's so isolated. So mm -hmm. nobody wants to be the first person to build. But this is like an entire grid pattern for a city mm -hmm. just waiting for people to come out here. Like, it's absolutely insane that this is here in southwest florida and like most people don't even know this exists like i don't think there's houses here yet let's find out on google maps there's nothing here <laughs> like on google maps this doesn't even exist can i see the map let me just kind of see where i'm going i want to kind of end up in the in the deeper parts i'm not trying to grab my way out so yeah there's lots for sale here no doubt there's lots for sale and there's actually internet signal okay like we ended up in a dead end what we want to do is try to get back to the other side. Yeah. Is it these streets correlate? So obviously, like the roads are kind of abandoned. Mm -hmm. Like they have, well, they have water out here. Yeah. Can you imagine how cool it would be to live out here? Yeah. Now your safety would be a problem. Like the probably the biggest threat of being out here is how easy it would be for somebody to take our house and rob it if you're the first one to build out here. Yeah, they're selling the new constructions for but Once three. they start building and have some type of neighbors in the area, yeah, it would just, your house would just be way too vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Dude, I bet this would be an awesome place to come with the ATV and just hang out. Yeah. Like, I don't even think you'd get caught. Like, there's, there's not even, like, mm -hmm. like who 
Well, there's nothing back here. Yeah. Like, I bet there's probably homeless people, though. Yeah. And people camping out and all types of weird stuff out here. Yeah. Dude, this is insane. It's just like a completely massive grid pattern. Mm -hmm. Waiting to be built. And I guess people skydive. I gotta make sure we're gonna put a tire. People shoot their look at this. Look, look at the shells right there. Yeah. People have been shooting. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'm gonna get out for a second. And hopefully, I don't end the video. Stay alert. Another one of those people here. All right, guys. So this is awesome. Like, this is what our show is about. Obviously, people come out here for this. You can see it. Look right here. This is brass. This is brass, like literally, brass is worth money. Like you can literally, you should never touch this type of stuff, by the way, because you don't know what type of whatever, but it is brass. Like literally you can sit here and collect brass. I think brass is like $4 a pound right now or something. But yeah, as you can see, here's a 12. Here's a 12. I mean, literally in the middle of nowhere. I feel bad not taking this brass, so I've sold this stuff before by boxes, and it's actually worth quite a bit. Like, brass is actually worth money by the pound, so I'm almost tempted to keep it. So, as you can tell, this is absolutely in the middle of nowhere. You can see some ATV trails or dirt bike trails. Not a bad idea just to come out here and load up on brass, bro. It's four dollars a pound like there's already quarter pound right there bro that's a dollar you know if whatever's going on in the world today it's gonna go up let me start a little brass stash cable right here too let me start a little stash man there's cable there's brass this is money sitting right here dude look at all the brass like i bet you could literally you could probably literally make like $20 just right off this empty parking lot. Insane. Insane. Cool, huh? Bunch of brass. Let's get our fingerprints all up in this stuff. So cool. I mean, you can tell people come out here to practice. Good to know. Just going to put it right there, though. That's literally money. It's just sitting there waiting for somebody to come get it. Obviously, somebody's been doing some target practice on this little tank right here. Hey, steals money too, you know. Dude, awesome. You can see they've kind of set up here. Yeah, I mean, like, the first people that move out here, they're going to, like, deal with all types of misappropriation. You know? Whew, exciting. Let's keep exploring, guys. There's so much more to see in this place. I swear, I feel so tempted to just grab a little bucket or something and start picking these up. Make a little brass collection. I know brass is going to get expensive. I bet you can make like $100 just coming out here to pick up brass. Probably. It's everywhere. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> like, no exaggeration. Like, literally, there's brass everywhere. You come out here with a bucket one day. Big bucket. Big bucket. I bet you could probably make like. Mm -hmm. Remember one time we did it and we made like 400 bucks off brass? Yeah. It wouldn't be a bad little gig. Mm -mm. If the economy goes to crap and the metal prices go up. Yeah. We could just keep storing buckets. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, people just come out here to do that. Look at all these ATV trails, bro. Oh, man. Like literally, get the map real quick. Yeah, this is like so cool. It's like there's nothing out here. Absolutely insane. What am I singing? I don't know. No idea what I'm singing. This is so cool. It's like so weird. And they actually mow it. Which means that if you buy a lot out here, the county's going to charge you for that. Yeah. Dude, look at all these ATV trails. 
You just have to be careful where you park. Make sure, like, you don't get your car disappear. Yeah. While you're out on your ATV. Yeah. Bro, this would be so cool to come out here with the ATV. Why am I saying this on YouTube? Now 20 other people are going to come out here and then they'll be like, <laughs> Excuse me. We might not have to publish this video for a long time. <laughs> just, uh, us do it first. Yeah. And then after we've done it, then publish the video. Make sure, like... Yeah. No, there's so many places you can ride in Southwest Florida mm -hmm. that nobody actually will. Yeah. Honestly, like, just think about all the places there are to ride in. So this is like a Port LaBelle Part 2. But the prices are already, that's the thing that is horrible about investing in Southwest Florida, is that the prices will go up before the infrastructure is in place. Mm -hmm. Most places, there's, look right there, right there, right there, foundation. Right there, foundation. Yeah. All right, how do we get back there? So we have found our first home being built out here. This will be the next Lehigh Acres. This will be the next, like, Port LaBelle. Look, right there it is. The first house being built. In this... What's a labyrinth? Is that a good word? God, yeah. It's, uh... Dude, look. The first house being built. Right there. Mm -hmm. That will be the first house being built here, probably. Mm -hmm. They're doing it. Mm -hmm. Now... There's, some, there's a lot going in in the back, though. What? Well, they're actually doing it, bro. Yeah. Look. Right there. Mm -hmm. They've plotted all that out. Yep. It's interesting how you have to pull a permit to clear a lot. You don't have to do that in Lehigh Acres. Mm -hmm. From what I've seen. Yeah. No, we called NAS and they said no. They said no? Yeah, mm -hmm. I would have done it without calling. I know myself. Mm -hmm. well, no, no so we did call. This is actually going to be like, but it's already a $15,000 a lot. Yeah. That's super sp speculatory. Like the speculation's already there. The price, there's nothing out here, and the price speculation's already begun. And that's what makes Southwest. I would have want to live out here. What? I would have want to live out. Well, I mean, like on the daily. This is truck one. That we saw. It. Yeah. On the daily, it would be kind of. Oh, I see houses. They built them. Yeah. Cool. They were, they were uh, building them new construction, yeah. Yeah, they're building them finally. So on Google Maps, there's nothing out here. But in reality... It looks like there's already at least one person living out yeah. here. Yeah. And see, they build them all together so that nobody you don't want to get robbed. Yeah. So this is literally like a new city being built out here. Yeah. A new city being built, practically. Just, there's literally house... They got a tiki hut, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they got people living here. So imagine, like, if you end up in a rural corner here, yeah. like, you could literally have no neighbors for a long time. Yeah. I would love to live out here. Imagine yeah, how yeah. fun it would be, like, you can blast your music as loud as you want to, and yeah. not have to worry about the old fart across the street coming over and talking about, Yeah. It's kind of loud. Tu madre is kind of loud, bro. Tu madre is kind of loud. Yeah, they're building back here. That's crazy. Yeah. On Google Earth, none of this exists, by the way, guys. Yeah. This is not on Google Earth. This is all new. Like, none of this is on Google Earth. If you look at Google Earth, this doesn't even exist on Google Earth. Oh, that one already has a broken out window. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a perfect place to commit crime. Like, this is the absolute perfect place to commit crimes. But you think about it, though. You got migrant workers working here in these fields on the other side, the orange fields. Yeah. So, look, they're all plotted. Like, they're all surveyed. Yeah. They're starting to do it. They're going to build here, too. Yeah. So, this is going to be like an entire city out here. None of this even exists on Google Earth. It's all fields on Google Earth. Yeah. Wake Robbins Avenue. Yeah, this lends itself perfectly for crime. They're staking everything out. Mm -hmm. You can literally go over this way and see the houses. They're clearing a lot. David Circle. Yeah, look how much they're gonna build there. Yeah. And it looks like there's infrastructure mm -hmm. for it. Okay, this is a dead end, but look, they've they've got 
Is that internet or, or water? See, it's going to be either internet or water. The, the orange pipes are water. Yeah. Yeah. It literally has infrastructure. Mm -hmm. This is literally going to be a city. Like, built from scratch. And it's massive. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's literally going to be a city. It's that big, like, literally. Like, we haven't seen even a fraction of it. It's big. Yeah. All being staked out. Imagine out here, you can drive through the woods out here with your ATV. Mm -hmm. No problems. The biggest problem here is if they they have to build in clusters like this. Yeah. Because, like I said, if they don't build in clusters, it's like if you just build a house out here in the middle of nowhere, it's getting hit up, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt you're not gonna get, like you're definitely getting robbed yeah. if you just. There's, there's definitely no doubt that this, look at the height though, what, it's like five feet off the ground. Yeah. They gotta, they gotta build up that high. Yep. It's just a building hole so they don't flood. They're, they're thinking far ahead. Yep. Like they're high off the ground. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. I just want Clorox. But yeah, they have to build in clusters. So like if you just build one house randomly in the middle of nowhere, so that house would be robbed yeah. 10 times in a year. Dude, this is insane. Look, throw away that box. Oh, I could use that to build a pigeon coop. <laughs> Landlord is <laughs> probably over and done with that one. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more. I want to see like the more remote, more more parts of it. Like I want to see how I can get way back over here. Like this thing is like literally like five miles across. Okay, that's gonna be a big house. They, these are like the ones they're building where we live. Yeah. So these are bigger. Like these right here. Yeah. These are gonna be bigger houses. Like this is literally not a small yeah. building. That's a big house. Mm -hmm. That's like the ones where we live. Yeah. Right now there's no Starbucks out here. Mm, give it five years. You know how far you are from a Starbucks out here? Or a give Publix? it five years. These lots were like worth nothing, probably. I bet Actually, these... giving it about a year. For the Starbucks out here? Yeah. Nah, way longer. They don't even have a Publix. Yeah. It will come eventually, though. Yeah. You're going 40 miles an hour through here. There's like literally nothing. Yeah. Can you imagine how fun it would be to live out here? I know, right? Just zip through on an ATV uh -huh. all day. Yep. And if you're commuting to Naples, it's actually better because you can come around the back. Yeah. You don't have to go around mm -hmm. through the traffic. Mm -hmm. The 29 is getting pretty packed. There's people fishing here. Dude, look at the size of that water. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's nobody at this bridge. So you can literally fish here. Mm -hmm. We're working. And there's probably snook and tarpon because it's connected to the Hatchie. Yeah. What? I like this. city going on out here. It has literally been a week since we had Starbucks. I bet we could buy two lots out here. Sell ours and then buy two out here. And then when we have our lot out here, yeah. we could come to the lot mm -hmm. and camp an ATV and the cops really couldn't tell you anything because when they, when they catch you out here, all they can tell you probably is like a parking type of violation or a trespassing type of violation. But if you own the land, they can't tell you anything. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm literally gonna look in the land back here. Mm -hmm. I bet you can see panthers, black bears, all that out here. Little foxes. And this is definitely wild for out here. But no Starbucks. Well, if we lived out here, we could we could be on the East Coast or in Southwest Florida. Yeah. It'd be great that's for our what, videos. That's what we always said with Montara. Yeah. Like, when we were talking about that, I guess we could put could us be, on the East Coast. Yeah. Dude, look at this ATV trail. Look at this ATV trail. Can you imagine how fun that would be? Oh, my gosh. We need to get uh, another one and then... Uh, 
so we can ride together. Yeah. Dude. Absolutely awesome. I would be a build a house back here. We just we'd have to have somebody live with us. Yeah. Who's always home. Oh you, yeah, I know who that person. Have dad live for free. Yeah. It'd be boring. What? You literally have to have maybe a duplex. If we let him have like a pet, he would probably. Or get like three German shepherds and just keep everything inside the house. Yeah. Dude, you know the bass in these little creeks is awesome, right? We're like in the back of it now. Oh yeah. crap, we've been here for 20 minutes driving around fast. GPS, um, West Palm Beach, so we can start moving out. I don't know the way we want to go that far anymore. Yeah, I do. We still, it's already 4 in the afternoon. I understand what time it is. We're not going to be there in the we're, The night videos just don't do all that, right? We'll be there within plenty of time for some night. And we still have to eat, too. Yes, I understand it. This is so cool out here. Neat. It's like a whole city waiting to be built. Mm -hmm. You can turn right on Sycamore when you get to it. I don't know where that's up there. This is why you watch our channel. We put you on the stuff and nobody else knows. But $15,000 is still, is that what they're going for? $15,000? Or is there a yeah. for less? They're asking fifteen thousand is early getting. Yeah. The thing is if there's infrastructure out here. <laughs> I see a canal. Oh, somebody's been doing donuts right. out here. Yeah, we yeah. can do donuts out here. Blast your music as loud as you want to. Tune your sound system. I would love to live out here, man. I would build a house right out here in the middle of nowhere. You'd have to figure out the safety part, probably fence it in, cameras and two German shepherds. And someone at your house. And someone there all the time. <laughs> you can do whatever. You can blast your music as loud as you want to. Yeah. Look at this ATV part. Oh, no, no, no. Dude, look at these ATV trails. Oh, no. Is that an alligator? This is hard bottom, right? I don't think so. That what is, is that? not that is gorgeous. Gator. It is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. What did you think was a gator? That big log right there? No, no, I get it. We could get stuck here. Please don't get stuck, was it? This, 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 dude, we gotta bring the ATV on here. We will. Before we publish this video, we gotta tear this place up. I think we might have to bring someone out here. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, she would love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, we could actually safely drive the ATV. Yeah. Is that a foundation for a house going right there or just they cleared it? Foundation. Dude, yeah, I would love to live out here. Think about it. Like all these trails, even if they, like it would take them like three years. Even if they just started building all this at once, it would still take them three years before like this would be like in the yeah. meantime you could tear up all these trails and go fishing and like I think it would suck is how far you are from anything. Yeah. What's the closest Publix to here? Probably like our Publix in the Birmingham? Yeah. Dude. It's the places like this where the, where the biggest profits are made. Yeah. Because nobody expects it. Mm -hmm. Or knows it. This is what Lehigh used to be, remember? Yeah. Lehigh, left, right, keep going. Up up ahead is Lexington. Oh, I got you. Okay. And you'll take that out. And you'll go left. We're literally going 60 miles an hour. farmers here they're just working there picking oranges and stuff they could easily come out and yeah I, I bet 
bet I bet it'd be difficult, but it'd be worth it though. Like I would just fence the house in. Yeah. Fence it in, get a big get a few big dogs. Yeah. Cameras and hope for the best. We have someone there all the time. Try to have somebody there all the time, dude. Mm -hmm. We could adopt a Cuban from Hialeah that wants to escape Hialeah. No. Every weekend just go to Hialeah and pick up old Cubans. Actually, that would actually accelerate the getting robbed process. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's a bad idea. So there's literally an entire city we can go out here. That's wild. More ATV trails. guys that's highway 80 to the left of us is LaBelle to the right is Cluiston that's 80 right there the closest community to here that's established is called Pioneer which is uh, a rural community mostly people from Miami Venezuela it's called Vanian Village cool. even though there's no Vanians in here there it is highway 80 good cell phone reception yeah can't beat that. We've been able to get our videos off out here. Yeah. Better than in Lehigh. Way better. Yeah. And there's a tower right there. Yeah. Alright guys, there it is. Check it out. From Southwest Florida.